Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 651. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 648 to 660. Hey, I have uh, about a thousand videos, over a thousand videos here at YouTube. Finally, after all this time, I have a book coming out called Slain Excel Dragons. Not for another month or so, but you can go to Amazon, check it out, and pre-order it if you want. All right, we have a cool video here. Uh, we just want to talk about comparative operators and there's all sorts of situations from if functions to array formulas to count if and all, just all sorts of situations. So this video, the point of this is just to look at all the comparative operators. Of course we could say, hey, is that equal to, now there's two equal signs. The first equal sign always says, hey, Excel, I'm putting a formula in the cell. But this one is a comparative operator saying, are these two things equal? false. Another possibility is not equal but not, and not is less than, greater than. There's no single not symbol, so that's how you do it, less than, greater than. And of course, is 43 not 12? Yes, that's true. How about uh, greater than? And people often get confused, greater than, equal to, greater than, when do I use it? Well, it totally depends on the criteria, right? But here we're asking, is it greater than? If if we said, is 12 greater than 12, we would get false. But 13, as soon as there's something that's bigger, or 12.00001, we get a true. Less than equals this less than. Same logic holds there. We don't have an equal sign. So 40, uh, 43, 43, or 12, 12 would give us uh, a false also. Now, greater than or equal to is 43 greater than. And for some people, this gets confusing. There's no greater than or equal to symbol, so you have to type two symbols. And the equal sign always comes second. Finally, we get uh, less than or equal to. Again, the same thing. Got to have two symbols. And which one comes last? The equal sign. Greater than or equal to. Now, if I say 43, right? 43 is less than or equal to, because we have the equal sign, but if I do 42.99999, we get a true, because 49.999 is less than 43. Now, numbers is what are what we usually use, but what about words? Equals rad. I want to know. After all those years of skateboarding and BMXing and now Excel coolness and radness, is rad really cooler? Is rad greater than cool? Meaning rad is cooler than cool? Yes, that's true. Now let's ask the uh, question, is uh, rad less than cool? False. Now, it's not really determining which trick was radder or cooler. It's just alphabet, right? R comes later in the alphabet than C. This is three, really, in essence. Um, and this is whatever letter that uh, number that is. It's greater than three. So that's why we get a true here. When we say, is rad greater than cool? It's because R is further along in the alphabet than that. Now, also, we can use named ranges. If I click right here, you can see I have named that rad and this one cool. So I'm going to say, equals rad, which is a named range in 2003-10. You can see that dog tag, greater than cool. And I hope it says true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. Rad is still radder than cool. All right, and, but so the point is you can use named ranges. So numbers, text, name ranges. You can also use dates. Here we want to say is this date right here, uh, in 1958 greater than this. And of course, we're going to get a false. Now, what's really happening is those are serial numbers underneath. And I have lots of videos on dates and serial numbers. What you don't want to do with dates is you don't want to go like this, 1 slash 12 slash 1931 or whatever date it is, because it won't recognize this. You've got to put the dates in the cell. Or you, there's, there's functions that you can use to build dates. But this is division. This will take 1 divided by 12 divided by 1931. So you could never build a logical formula like that. All right, uh, comparative operators, lots of fun with that. We'll see you next trick.